But yo, just a reminder, if you want to support me in the item shop, you just click on support a creator. I'm sure you guys already know this by now, but uh, just type in face one. It resets every two weeks or so, and you just need to retype it in. So, yeah, if you want to support me, really appreciate it. If we get to like 10k supporters, um, I'll do weekly giveaways of V-Bucks. So, tweet them at me, tweet pictures at me if you end up using my code. And, uh, yeah. Hey, yo, so... Uh, recently I kind of thought about this, um, this whole idea of editing and what I feel like is like pro almost one of the best tips I could give, especially for, if you're a competitive player or want to be a competitive player and like if you're in late game specifically, all this stuff, whatever, there's one tip that I feel like people don't shed light on very much and I think it really needs to be um so typically someone will people ask me this question all the time why do you use a different confirm than your edit button why do you why do you not have the same edit and confirm like i use touchpad that everyone always asks why don't i confirm with touchpad also and the reason is because let's say let's say with resetting resetting is the more important part with this so i edit it and instead of having to click touchpad, click my reset, which is R1, and click touchpad again, I can click literally three buttons at once and just reset it instantly. So, if you ha if you don't have touchpad, I'll, I'll try and explain it and kind of like try and show it to you with the actual uh, controller. But, so, you edit... And when you reset, so I'm going to hold my controller up as fast or as good as I can to kind of show it. I literally, it's a three button quick motion of just touchpad, R1, and then circle all at once. So if I were to actually reset with touchpad, it would be touchpad, reset, and then I have to click touchpad again to reset. But if you have... If you have uh, a different confirm f with a different finger and you, you have the ability to do so, you can literally click them all three at one time and it resets. So it's it's similar to scroll wheel edits because like scroll wheel, I, I don't even know how that really works. Scroll, scroll wheel reset, Jesus, that's kind of hard to say. But when you do it, it's it's similar to that because you can literally click three buttons at once and do it instantly rather than having that little delay of having to pick your finger up from your edit button after clicking it and then pressing it again. So, yeah, that's basically that's basically all I wanted to say. Like this this it's instant basically. So I don't know. I I don't think really people have said that. And I was actually talking to someone on Twitter and was like, "Yo, you gotta." Fortnite, you gotta fix this. It's like, no. They gave us the ability to use a different confirm than our edit. Like, initially, when they brought out edit binds, you had to use the same confirm as um, your edit button. But they changed it so you could actually do something like this rather than being stuck to one bind. So, I think it's, uh, I think it's really useful and it was put into the game for a reason. So, I think people should use it instead of um, using the same confirm. No matter what your edit is, I say you change it. You change it. You figure out what works for you so you can do it instantly like that. It is instant. Yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to say. But I hope that made sense. When you're watching my gameplay now, too, I don't, well, I don't know what gameplay is going to be in this video, but just pay attention to how easy it is to reset for me. And, um... Yeah, I, I think it, I think a lot of people really don't pay attention to little stuff like this, and my overanalyzing brain kind of realized stuff like this. I mean, a long time ago when I already changed when I changed my confirm button, but I didn't realize that other people really didn't notice it or realize it. So uh, try it out. Let me know if it helps you, and uh, use creator code face swan in the item shop. Also, twitch.tv slash swan if you want to watch live streams.
Nice. I was gonna pistol whip the other dude that was on the middle building, but I couldn't. There's a guy right on me. He didn't even have a gun, luckily. I'm so surprised, too. I got shield? Now I just need a shotgun. Oh, gosh. Okay. It's almost better to just have an SMG rather than a great attack. Attack in general. Max minis. Yes, sir. You don't know where this chest is, brother? He go. Yes. But it's true. We actually got mats too. Surprisingly. Only five kills this time and we got like a decent amount of mats. I'll take that any day of the week. Don't bloom fight me. Don't bloom fight me. What do you think I am? Someone who doesn't hit my shots? Eight of them. That's a quick three. Yes. Damn, there's only there's so so much fewer people left. What is he doing? Is there even anyone fighting him?
here, ball. Come on, man. See, I don't even want to... I have no idea where he is. I have no mats, too. There we are. Damn, that's crazy, but it's true. All right, we need to get this 18. Oh, he died! Come on, man, don't get stuck. Oh my gosh. Why? 